I'm gonna go find a tree. Rayel wants to watch me making a whistle. See some blueberries? First of all, she wants to eat some blueberries. Oh, there are a few blueberries there. First of all, you gotta find a nice alder with lots of scent. You can't do this in the wintertime, not that I'm aware of. You've got to have scent. All right, so you got to find a nice little stretch, but the strength or length of a whistle. And again, it has to be like an alder or something with some sap inside. So, and <laughs> yeah, I'll take this section here and give it a try. So we can take this and just. Gonna make it just like an upside down whistle. At this point, that's where your mouth is gonna go. It's gonna be the back of the whistle. And you wanna square off the end just like that. Now we're gonna make a little ring all the way. Kind of like the end of the whistle. We used to make these all the time when we were little boys, which was a long time ago now for me, probably when I was Ray Al's age. Of course, we didn't have any internet back then, no iPads, no email, no GoPros, no GoPros. <laughs> that's too bad. No Facebook, no texting, so we did stuff like this for fun. But of course, if you ever got lost in the woods, you can make yourself a whistle. Get the mouth part, that's going to be the end of the whistle. And we actually had to remove all this bark. But before we do that, we got to make a little notch about right here. That's where the air is going to leave when you blow in the whistle. Air is going to leave right here. Now, believe it or not, you're going to make this sap, hopefully, it's not too dry. You're going to make this sap really wet. And you can either lay it in the pond or you can put it in your mouth. Okay, <clears throat> now you got to take off this bark. This is probably the hardest part. You take the bark off, but you can't break it. Particularly, you can't break it up around. Right where your mouth is going to go. But this knife is you nice, know, it's kind of got a plastic handle on it, it's not really too, too hard. Nice Gerber skinning knife. Actually, I used this knife last year when I shot a moose and I skinned the knife or the uh, moose with this knife. <clears throat> Ever so often, that's why you get this pair of gloves on here, too. You gotta try to break the seal. So you gotta try to twist it. Okay. You're gonna tap it then uh, for a while and twist it. You can see now that the the bark actually is going to slip right off of the tree here. Just like a snake shedding its skin. Now you're left with that. Now we're gonna set this aside. And we're gonna take this little notch that we had here, make it a little deeper. And cut it down a little bit. And then this part here, the top part, we're gonna make a little tiny just place, little level spot for air to blow through. Okay, I'm gonna get a 
slip this back in place again now. Try not to slip Terry or Outer Bark. She right back to where she took it from. Give it a try. Wasted.